one. All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. <laughs> now let's do some things that are shocking. You know, a train's sitting here, but a train didn't just sit there. A train got, they smoked and belched, and when a train came in the station, you had all sorts of things going on. We ain't got no smoke on here, so we're going to take some of all this white we got out here. We need a little bit of gray color, so I'm going to take a little bit of that ultramarine blue and mix in with it. That turned it blue. That's not too bad. I'm going to go just a touch of that red there, mix it in, and just give me a kind of a gray color. And that gray color is going to be the base for, gonna be, we got smoke coming out of this thing. He's sitting here just puffing away. And that smoke's just kind of drifting off up into the sky. They just roll that brush. It's like doing clouds. It comes right out of that engine. i tell you what, it'd probably be a little bit even darker than that. I'm going to grab a little bit of burnt umber, mix in with that. A little bit more ultramarine blue. And get a, yeah, a little bit darker smoke color, see? And he's just sitting there, and the wind's just kind of carrying that away. So he's just wafting away off into the, who knows where that smoke's going. But he's sitting there, he's going to be, especially right here at the top. Oh, do they fuss, do they fuss. Right here at the top will be darker. And it's just kind of rolling that smoke out there. That kind of looks like it's, and guess what else? This little thing down here is just, it's just, look at that smoke. It's just blowing that steam all around down here. You know, isn't that scary? We just gone through all the trouble. And now we just kind of covered it up with a little bit of smoke. You know, we just take our brush and just, whoa, just put it on there. Oh, where'd it go? But you know what? That's the way it really was. So you can still see the wheel back there, but that kind of looked like smoke a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to grab a little bit of this white while that's still wet. Lighten that color up a little bit. Look at that. Now get some. Look at that, we're making clouds, see? There's that kind of like smoke rolling off that train a little bit down there, and just kind of drifting along the ground. And You know, there'll probably be some kids running around beside their plane in the smoke. You know how kids are, they kind of like that. And up there where it's coming out of the engine, okay, so we, just, we want some light up there. It's just kind of like a, there, we got to look at that. It's kind of drifting out of there. Kind of carrying that on out to the sky. He just kind of wafting around out there. Just kind of gets lighter. As the farther away goes, it just trying to drift off into the sky. Guys, who couldn't enjoy doing this? I mean, this is fun to me. And that train just sitting there, that old engineer, he's getting ready to go somewhere. We can tell, he's got this thing, and the more different shades you use, just the more depth you build in the, just like everything else, the more colors you use, the more depth you get. Well, I've got this good old light color here. We probably got that sign pretty well. I keep coming back to here, trying to lighten that up just a little bit. I want that to be a good border for that sign. This sign is important. The train man had to know where he was going. I'm going to clean this brush out just a little bit. Just put it in the water and scrub it around. I keep an old sponge over here. I just kind of roll that brush on to clean it up. Y'all really can't see all that going on over there. But while we're doing this, we got to put that sign up there. Ultramarine blue, a little bit of red, just gives me a good gray, good dark color. See that? Get that, mix it in good. Get me a good sign. Cause see how it turned gray? A little bit of that white was in there. And that's what we needed to do, because that sign's not up close, it's kind of back a little bit. And I hope that's where y'all can see that. Yeah. That's also a good shadow color back under here. See, put this, there we go. Now, that's how I straighten my sign up, see. I get that shape back in there, just a little bit on this edge. But we had, uh, I'm going to grab that for y'all and see what I'm doing. Just get my brush, and it gets that brush, gets a knife's edge by doing that. And let's get Oklahoma. We'll put the O. Kind of. Grab 
a little more paint there, see so one side, then the other, then the other. You're just working it to kind of a nice shape. And just and it's a detail work. And as y'all can tell by the way I paint, I am not real detail oriented. Oklahoma. We decided that was Oklahoma City. I never been to Oklahoma City. I have to get out there one day. And just nothing else. I have to go meet Gannon out there. See what's going on in Oklahoma City. See if we can make that one right. Oklahoma City. So now we know where that train was going in such a hurry. Get that shadow right back under that edge again. So now I go back and put these darks back in some places where I kind of lost it. Like this bench. We lost that edge of that bench there. It's casting a shadow on the ground, see. There we go. Had a good dark back here under it. Keep that dark there, right at the back of the seat. Right under that overhang. We put all that light up there. Let's straighten that up a little bit. Right here on the door. Oop, too far, I wipe it off. They tell you not to do that. Well, they're going to tell you a lot of things. This is us painting and having fun. That's what painting's all about. I hope y'all have enjoyed this painting as much as I have. This has been a fun one for me to do. And that's what I'm talking about. Just put it on there. We'll use strips. Oh, I know I need to get some dark color on there. I gotta straighten this up right here. That was that headlight out here on front of that train. Get that good dark in there. There we go. Pull that dark in there. That help a little bit there, Michael. Mm -hmm. Get that shape right back there on the front of that. So yes. How many times have we painted over this? We've gone over the same thing and over and back and over and back. And every time we do it, we put another layer of paint. We add more depth. Get that straighten out a little bit right there. Guys, I love to paint. I couldn't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. There's no better way to spend an evening than doing what we're doing right here. I guarantee you, your parents ain't going to complain if you want to paint. In fact, they're probably going to love it, and they're probably going to hang it on their refrigerator. Kids, pick up a paintbrush. Go out and paint something you see that you know is there, and make it happen. Have a good time doing it. Your teachers are going to love it. Your parents are going to love it. And you can paint anything you want to paint. The whole world's out there waiting on somebody with a paintbrush to come strolling along. I'll tell you what. Y'all come. We'll see what we do next. Y'all come.